Yeah, buddy, John here from Empire RV and Marine, and I've got a 2010 Palomino Puma. I'm going to take you on a uh, quick uh, video tour on. It's the uh, floor plan model 30Q, or no, I mean 30FQSS. It is a bunkhouse. Up front here you have the uh, the uh, propane bottles up, up front. You've got a large uh, pass-through storage compartment in here. And uh, here's a look at this uh, this side. The uh, the decals and all the uh, vinyl still look real good. They're not all cracked up or or weathered. Uh, you got a little bit of weathering on them here. A little bit of crack on the door, but as far as the body of it, they still look really nice. And of course you have the uh, stabilizer checks, the uh, the manual ones in the front and the rear. Um, I'm not really sure what what they use to wash it, but on some parts of the uh, trailer, the uh, color looks like that, and then right above it it's fine. So uh, I'm not really sure what caused that or why it happened, but I think they might have just used something too, too harsh to wash it, but I don't know. Anyways, I just want to make sure you guys know that. You do have the uh, 30 amp service for this one here, which uh, your power cord's in there. And here's the uh, super slide out for it again. It's got nice big windows on the slide out, and uh, you can open them up and let a nice breeze uh, come inside. Again, I just want to make sure you know that the uh, the same thing, I'm not really sure what that is, but it looks like they washed it with something and it caused some of the color to discoloration happen. Anyways, let's go ahead and make our way to the inside. Again, it's a 2010. Palomino Puma 30 FQSS. On your way to the inside, you'll have the uh, pull down steps, of course. You got the nice entry handle. There's your floor plan model. And now, I really love the uh, the floor plan on this thing. You've got a nice uh, jackknife sofa here. Huge dinette, U shaped dinette. And uh, look at how big those windows are. Uh, you got nice overhead storage. Also, you have a uh, an L-shaped kitchen with a double sink. It's nice and deep, actually. And you got a three-burner stove, and it doesn't look like they ever cooked on it at all. Um, you got a uh, Magic Chef microwave, overhead storage, storage below as well. Dometic fridge, and it does have a small freezer as well. And then uh, I like how they have the uh, space for your TV here. This is your entertainment center, so you, you can put a nice flat screen there. You've got a uh, a radio and DVD player, looks like there, and lots of uh, nice storage. Here's your uh, main bedroom. It does need a mattress, but underneath uh, where the bed goes, you do have another nice large storage compartment here, as well as a lot of nice uh, overhead storage as well. Um, and then you got these pocket doors on both sides that will slide to separate this space. Um, with it being a bunkhouse, you do in the rear here have two bunk beds. Uh, there's your upper bed, and then there's the, the bottom bunk right there. And then in the uh, bunkhouse part of it, you got a nice wardrobe closet, uh, which is mirrored as well, and a space up here for another TV to be put. And then he's got a nice stand. Whoever sleeps on the bottom bunk, of course, got the better deal. You got a bigger bed for the bottom bunk too. Now, here's your bathroom. Nice mirrored vanity, sink, and it's actually got a good sized shower. You got a shower tub in this one. It's pretty good size for a uh, small travel trailer. And uh, if you have questions on it, feel free to give me a call. My number is 936-253-8130. Overall, it's real, real nice and clean. Um, you do have, I don't know, some parts are walking. There's a little minor soft spot right around right around here but it's it's uh, really not that noticeable um, so I just want to make sure you guys know that because a lot of our customers are uh, people from out of state and um, they uh, buy just off of the uh, photos and video that we post uh, anyways overall nice nice clean travel trailer bunkhouse model and uh, give me a call with your questions again my name is John and the number is 936-253-8130 and I'll be more than happy to go out and check for certain options or verify uh, anything that it is that you want to know. Again, please call me, 936-253-8130, and thanks for watching this video.